Hi, welcome to day five of Simplifying Fractions. Today, we're just going to add a little bit to what we've been working on with Simplifying Fractions. And we're gonna talk about what happens if the simplification isn't even a fraction, dun dun dun. So, here would be an example. This is an improper fraction, and you'll notice that 36, this can be a division sign, divided by six, equals six. So you don't, if you notice this, you don't really have to do a lot of work. You just have to know your math facts and your multiplication facts. So you could do all of this out and you would find that the greatest common factor is six. It has to be in order for this to work. So because six can go into 36 evenly, you don't need to write out all those factors. Okay, so 36 sixths is equal to six. That's a tongue twister right there. Here's another one. So you know that three can go into nine, so you don't have to write out all the factors. You will know that nine thirds is gonna be nine divided by, remember this is a division symbol, divided by three which equals three. It's nice and dandy. Um, what about 36 fourths? Well, we know that four goes into 36 evenly, so we know that this is going to in result in a whole number. So 36 divided by, don't forget our divided by there, 36 divided by four is nine. So that's how you simplify it. Easy peasy. And here's one that's not as common of a math fact. So you would probably do all of the factors out and you would realize that 14 goes into 42. Lots of things go into 42, right? So um, three goes into 42, how many times? Anybody know? Anybody know? So 14, well, we can stop right there. We don't have to keep going because we know we can't have a bigger factor of 14 than 14. So once I know that three goes into 14 or into 42, 14 times, that has to be the greatest common factor. So then we just divide 42 divided by 14, which we just found out was three. And so we know that this improper fraction when it's simplified is three, okay? So yeah, um, I hope that helps and you can work on that today and we hope to talk to you on another lesson. Bye!